yeah, yeah, they was that's genius. Yeah, yeah. That, that's been uh, a lot of talk lately. Oh, man. A lot. Would have passed him something. He'd have did something with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He didn't gave his son the juice. Yeah, he yeah. Ran. yeah. It's yeah. out here. But before you know, we wrap it up. You know, mm -hmm. it's no secret that I love wrestling. Yes, you do. You love wrestling with all my heart. <laughs> Everything. Yes. For those who don't understand, yeah. Tell them why they should just love it while we, how we do. It. Wrestling is is it's an entertainment. Okay. You know, it, it it's almost like physical soap opera. Okay. Like you know, I want what you have. You can't have it. Meet me in the ring, and they just fight. It it is so entertaining, and 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 people get caught up on whether or not it's real, but. It's so cool to see like these characters come to life. Like The Rock, he got on a thousand dollar Gucci shirt and some sunglasses. And hey, the people, if you smile, I need to get what The Rock is cooking. <laughs> and then you got Austin coming in. Why? And stop. There was just okay. nothing that was so much doper than that. And okay. so, um, even to see now some of the people that's out. I mean, mm -hmm. wrestling is a great form of entertainment because oh. it allows you to escape reality. Dive into these weird people realities <laughs> and jumping around and running. Right. And it's, it's so cool, man. I love it. Wow. Yeah. Hey, question whether it's real or fake, but it's just as real as the love and hip hop. Everybody. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. Like exactly. literally, That's you true. tune in to see what's going to happen because you don't know what's going to happen. Exactly. Y'all say, well, the outcome is real. The outcome on love and hip hop is real. They got a whole crew of producers. Sure. Right. Right. They did everything. For these characters. So it's the same thing. About same thing. That's true. That's you know, true. it's just, I like. The, the aspect of physical yeah. combat, you know, mm -hmm. extraordinary athletes doing extraordinary yes, things. So, true. you know, it's just, like you said, opera makes what you know, just an athlete. It's something about where people prefer scripted women with, like, <laughs> long weaves fighting that they prefer over, like, half oily men in drawers fighting. And I get it. But I kind of like that, and I don't know why it's just sweet. Maybe because they don't be like, <laughs> they be like, hey, hey, hey. like, that sounds sweeter to me, I guess. Man, you, look, you got pyro, you got music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can right. fight the cage, like anything. Listen, if I see, if New York came out with pyro, you know what I'm saying, and she was just like, ah, I watch New York fight or something like that. You are so entertaining, so, man. So, for real. So, so before we before we wrap it up, yeah. before we wrap it up, uh, them shows, favorite, favorite, them shows, favorite, pass <laughs> favorite, pass favorite, favorite pass wrestling, favorite pass wrestling, favorite pass wrestling. The Rock, I The Rock, get okay. all my my Cur energy. Currently, who, 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 currently who, 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 AJ Styles. Best AJ Styles. Styles. <laughs> You don't Hands do down, best performer. AJ, like, you know, you know, you don't be that. Wow. Yeah, you know, he he been around for a long time, definitely. Yes. I, you know, I would call him the HBK of this era, cause just the mm. best performer that yeah. in. That's in true. Night out. That mm. is true. And if y'all didn't know, we used to have. A wrestling podcast. It's going to come. It's coming oh, back. Wow. We go, we go Friday. We're going to work out the details. Oh, yes. Hey. Yes. We're we going to bring yeah, it. Yeah, I would love to see that. We're going to elevate the platform. Oh, well, we used to go in. We yeah. had yeah. to. Hold on, did y'all drip us up? Tell me y'all No, we were just sitting at the table. It was, it was audio. It was audio podcast, but we he okay, posted a recent episode, and I okay. went back and listened to it, and I was like, How did that we had gold. Oh, my. Oh, it was good. Oh, yeah, because I, I listened to it. But I, I I didn't listen to it all, but I listened to like 15, 20 minutes. I was yeah. like, dog, this was it's great. Gold. It's gold. It's gold. Greatness. Yeah. <laughs> like, we need to get some visuals going on. Oh, yeah. We, we now that I have a okay. geography business, okay. we need visual. Yeah, yeah. we're we, we going to work it out. So, so. um, now, what else do we need to know about you? Because you did just briefly drop the videography oh. business. Yeah. What else do we need to know about you? And we got to know about your live shows coming up. So. Yes. So... Uh, I definitely just started my own business. Okay. I now have a videography business called Maturity Productions. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just huge into storytelling. Huge oh. into just dynamic uh, cinema. So trying mm -hmm. to just bring other artists' music videos to life, bring their stories wow. to life. I just did a documentary for uh, K Fire. Wow. And she just did her okay. documentary, My Dreams. And so it, I've just been working with so many great people. Yeah. Um, but it's a. It's just so humbling to finally own your own business yeah. and be working for yourself mm -hmm. and be pushing and grinding through mm -hmm. that, that rough stage. But mm -hmm. knowing that 
whenever that boy is over, you'll be excited to the top of whatever else happens. So it's a rough stage in the beginning, but I tell people, if you don't want the rough stage, then you really don't want the well, upstage, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's so, true. Well, how can they contact you for mm-hmm. a business inquiry? Yeah, definitely. You can email me at uh, Vince, V-I-N-C-E underscore mature24 at Yahoo. Mm. And then we got to know about your live shows. Yes. Know. I have an event coming up mm-hmm. on the 17th of April. Okay. Um, I'll be doing poetry actually on that night. Come on. Um, I'm sorry, I'll be doing music. I'm actually doing an event March 17th. March 17th. Well, okay. I'll be doing poetry. Uh-huh. Uh, that'll be at Lighthouse Community Church of God. Awesome. And then when mm-hmm. I do music on April 27th, mm-hmm. that'll be at Springwell Baptist Church. All right. Wow. Yeah. So. Okay, now let's hit your social medias. Yes. Your Facebooks. Facebook, you can find me at Mature the Servant. Okay. You can find me on Instagram. Spell that out, though. Mature the Servant. Yeah, if you listen, you can. (laughs) So, it's Mature, M A T U R E, then the T H H E, not duh. Not duh. Not duh. (laughs) Duh, duh. Duh, me. No. So, we, and then Servant, which is S. E R V A N T. You can find me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find me on all those. Okay. All right, all right. I think hey, I think we covered a lot of <laughs> yeah, we we did. Yeah, we did. Exactly. Okay, this has been NTP Backstage Access. I'm your girl Marlene Massasoit. I'm Prestige. Your boy Mature. Hey, we out. We out. <laughs>